The python thought that in front of him was an ordinary rodent that would easily become prey. Fatal error. The porcupine masterfully wields needles as a real weapon. There are several species of animals that, with small sizes, have such trump cards that will unpleasantly surprise even the most formidable predators. Squirrels have a reputation for being cute and innocent animals. Their fast jumps, timid nature, and fluffy tails made them a good image of good-natured and cuties. Here it is, effective PR in action. It must have affected the snakes as well. This venomous reptile thought it was going to have a delicious snack. Big mistake. The squirrel doesn't even try to escape. On the contrary, she goes on the attack herself. A cobra can take down a horse with one bite, but a squirrel turns out to be too agile and dexterous. Not a single throw hits the target. The snake already takes a defensive position in a panic, opens the collar, but the squirrel doesn't care. She attacks again and again as lightning rushes from side to side. This is not a unique case. It turns out that squirrels are great fighters. They avoid fights, but if they are angered, then even larger predators will only have to run. These rodents prefer nuts, fruits, and vegetable food, but on occasion, they will gladly snack on a poisonous snake. Squirrels have no immunity from the poison of these reptiles, only agility, lightning fact reaction, and courage, which would be enough for several lions. So don't joke with that squirrel when you feed her nuts. The tactics of squirrels are very unusual. They can either attack from the flanks to confuse less agile opponents, or use their tail. No, they don't hit the snake with it, but they distract them. The tail rises above the squirrel's back, the snake reacts to it and tries to bite, but its teeth slip off the fluffy fur. Meanwhile, the sharp teeth of the squirrel, which easily cope with the hard shell of nuts, are already getting to the scales of the enemy. A porcupine is a small, well-fed animal the size of a dog, with short paws and a cute muzzle. But experienced predators try to avoid this. The reason is simple. Porcupine quills are practically an ultimate weapon against most predators. The fact is that they have a slightly jagged structure, so they do not just hit the enemy with painful injections, but get stuck in their flesh. In addition, the needles are very quickly and easily detached from the porcupine itself. Therefore, most often, a skirmish, a lot of needles remain in the predator's body. And that's when the most unpleasant thing happens. Inflammation. In a warm and humid climate, an infection penetrates into the wound, which very quickly causes blood poisoning, tissue death. And such a wound hurts very much. No matter how tough a lion is, he has no grasping fingers, no antiseptics, no antibiotics. Therefore, an ordinary rodent, we can say an overgrown rat, is able to deal with an adult lion, which scatters a gang of hyenas and knocks down buffaloes. In addition, the porcupine is well aware of the capabilities of his weapons and uses it masterfully. He just seems cute. If the porcupine feels threatened, he will attack the enemy itself. And it looks funny from the outside. The porcupine walks with its back to the leopard, moves sideways, and tries to catch the enemy with the tips of his needles. But the leopard is not funny. The porcupine is able to come close with a powerful jerk and force the needles to dig deeper into the predator's flesh, and then move away with a light movement, leaving the needles there. The rodent acts so nimbly that it caused the myth that it shoots needles from a distance. This, of course, is not the case. But who knows where evolution will lead him? At the same time, porcupine needles, contrary to another myth, are not poisonous. These are ordinary modified hairs, just longer, harder, and tougher. But thanks to their flexibility, it is almost impossible to remove needles with their paws. And besides the threat of infection and pain, the needle will also interfere with movement, 
a terrible weapon. Thanks to this, it is much more difficult to cope with a porcupine than it seems at first glance. So give this porcupine a like. It definitely deserves it with its bravery and fighting skills. The alligator is very young, and the jaguar has the advantage in strength, but the reptile knows judo. Look at that throw over his shoulder. Definitely a black belt. The jaguar literally flies into the water. Usually, a sloth is an easy prey. He of course stinks, but he is not able to provide decent resistance because of his legendary slowness. Therefore, huge harpy eagles are very fond of hunting these animals. The birds literally brush the sloths out of the branches and take them to their nests for lunch. For them, sloths are an easy prey in 99% of cases. But this sloth is the exception. He turned out to be a tough nut to crack. The harpy is shocked herself, but she didn't know who she was messing with. Not only that, but the sloth somehow miraculously escaped the blow. So he also fights off the bird when it landed on the branches to deal with the prey in close combat. As a result, the harpy has to retreat. Like this anaconda. Sloths try not to leave the trees and reluctantly go down to the ground. For them, moving on the ground is so much more stressful that this beast just doesn't care about the anaconda. He literally steps on it to get to the right tree. Maybe the sloth's impudence scares the snake, or maybe it was just full, but the animal successfully trampled on the anaconda and got to the right tree it needed. Why do you think the anaconda didn't attack? Let us know in the comments. The main advantage of the Impala is speed. It is really impressive. Like the maneuverability of a hoofed animal, it is instantly able to change its direction of running and dodge the claws of the lioness at the last second. Fast as a bullet, the Impala passes the predator by itself and runs away, leaving the enemy to swallow its dust. This ungulate does not have enough strength to resist predators like leopards and hyenas. Therefore, if you have already been caught, then most likely the impala will become lunch. But here, the hyena clearly underestimated its enemy. She caught the impala and was ready to take it with her fangs, but was distracted by the cheetah. Suddenly, the impala jumps up and runs away. It turns out that she was alive the whole time. It just had enough composure to deceive the hyena and to take advantage of the only chance for salvation. That's how cunning sometimes saves in cases where brute force is not enough. And an impala also knows how to use someone else's competition for its own good. A group of animals at a watering hole was scared off by a leopard. The cunning predator appeared so unexpectedly that it surprised one of the impalas which was at a depth of. It didn't have time to escape. The young leopard's fangs closed in on its throat, and suddenly a hyena appeared. It was more massive than a very young spotted hunter, so she was able to drive away the competitor. But the impala was alive and jumped to her feet at the moment when the hyena's fangs were as far away from her body as possible. As a result, the hoof managed to escape from a seemingly hopeless situation. It is worth paying tribute to the Impala's endurance, so she doesn't try to pull away when the hyena was looking at her and jumped up only when the opponent lost concentration. Usually zebras are not distinguished by a craving for mutual assistance. If predators attack, then each striped horse will be fending for itself. But sometimes there are exceptions. This zebra is one of them. Suddenly, she went on the attack on the lioness and right in front of the safari group and beat off a fellow predator. For the lioness, this was a shock. She clearly got involved with the wrong ungulates, which she used to hunt. The zebra successfully pushed the lioness away, after which it delivered such a powerful blow to its muzzle with its hooves that the sound could be heard even a few feet away. Although the failed victim was already quite a large individual, it was probably a teenager, and the protective zebra was its mother. 
However, sometimes a zebra can stand on its own against a lioness. Just look at the stubbornness and power with which the ungulate fights off the predator and shakes it off its neck. Amazing strength, which the lioness clearly did not expect. She holds on tightly with her curved claws, reaches for the throat of the prey, and does not give up until the last minute. But the zebra breaks out of her grip and runs away. Sometimes the unexpected boldness of small animals can look charming. For example, this goose that confronts angry bulls. Isn't it cute? The bird is simply unshakable. They are trying to intimidate her, push her away, trample her. But she herself goes into battle, although she is a hundred times smaller than her enemy. Even the numerical advantage does not frighten her. About brave people, they say brave as a lion. But about the most fearless, you should be probably saying brave as a goose. Hardly anyone would call a lynx a helpless animal. This is a cool predator that preys on fairly large horned ones. But still, a lynx is a cat weighing up to 65 pounds, up to 30 kilograms. The cougar in the background is a giant. Some individuals can be three times larger and several times stronger. Their character is also tough. Aggressive cougars even fight on par with jaguars, the third panthers on the planet after lions and tigers. And cougars are happy to hunt small bears as they do not like the competition. This cougar also thought that there was a competitor in front of her, only a weak one. The lynx is a rival for her, which is easy to get rid of. But this individual turned out to be much more difficult. She kept her composure and self-control and managed to give the cougar a worthy rebuff. These are very rare shots of a skirmish between such serious predators. Under normal conditions, lynx avoid cougars, but it was not possible to get away from the meeting here. The cougar acts very aggressively, growls, tries to intimidate the opponent. Just pay attention to the lynx look. Even a primed marine would envy that composure. How would you behave if you were face to face with an angry mountain lion? The lynx didn't flinch. Her every movement is clear, so that she responds optimally to the threat, saves its strength, and delivers strong, accurate strikes at the only right moment when they can reach the target. The cougar has to retreat. Unexpectedly for her, the lynx turned out to be a tough nut to crack. These tigers could handle a young elephant. Therefore, predatory cats thought that a duck was just like a snack, like a pack of chips. But they didn't know how cold-blooded and cunning this little feathered buddy was. During each attack, the duck simply dived under the surface of the murky water. And that's it. For the cats, it was gone. Probably if they had dived too, they could have even caught her blindly. However, the disappearance of the duck shocked the cats so much that they froze in place. And when the duck resurfaced, it was like a teleportation for the striped predators. As a result, the cats could not even catch one feathered bird, which did not even try to take off from them. When you see this adorable animal with an elongated ferret face, round ears, and big cute paws running through snowdrifts, the cuteness meter just overloads. But if some large predator tries to attack this little adorable buddy, he will immediately realize that he has contacted the wrong opponent. This wolf regretted that he got caught by such a little buddy. It seems that the gray predator is not laughing, do you agree? And when you see how this creature kills a deer by himself, and you realize that nature has surprises for you. This is the Wolverine. And the coolest superhero scumbag has its name for a reason. An animal the size of a spaniel that scares experienced wolves by its mere presence. Why is this? It's just that if a wolf or even a cougar has the audacity to attack our little buddy, it can end tragically for the larger predator and become nothing more than a warm-up for the wolverine itself. 
And how will an experienced predator behave if it meets the wolverine? Will it pick up some keys to victory, look for tactics, how to defeat the enemy? No. Here is an experienced wolf, and he made the most reasonable decision. He pretends not to see the wolverine, and tries not to provoke her. Look just how the wolf looks away from the competitor who is walking around and does not show any interest in it at all. Well, wolves are pretty smart animals. The wolverine weighs a maximum of 55 pounds, 25 kilograms. That is three times less than a wolf. But just look at how this battle machine can fight two such opponents at once. These wolves carelessly attack wolverines, but it immediately goes on the counterattack and starts chasing opponents like puppies. The ferocity of the wolverine simply shocks both wolves, who were waiting for the victim to start running away. Apparently, they haven't faced such an opponent yet. Wolves are considered one of the most successful and effective predators on the planet. But the wolverine just doesn't care about their reputation, teamwork, intelligence, agility, and other advantages. If you make her angry, she just goes into battle and destroys everything in her path. The secret of the wolverine's success is a combination of incredible rage, bravery, and extraordinary physical abilities. The wolverine fights with both jaws and paws. Her claws, although they do not retract like cats, are very sharp and strong. This allows her to grab the victim almost tighter than a bulldog. And it's not so much the bite force as the incredible stubbornness of the animal. If the wolverine clenches its jaws, then only a burst from a machine gun can make it let go of the victim. And that is the option that first wolverines will deal with the shooter, and then return to the prey. You know about the wolverine's reputation, we know about the wolverine's reputation, even many bears know about it. But the behavior of this baby, on the contrary, is a big surprise for any predator. This is an ordinary American badger. He is much less famous than the wolverine or honey badger, although they are all relatives. Do you understand what this means? That if due to inexperience, a bear gets into a fight with a badger, it will receive the same tough rebuff as in the case of a honey badger. For its size, the badger has great strength, but still inferior to larger predators. How then does he keep them at bay? It's just that the badger's skin is incredibly strong, and the animal itself has great vitality, a high pain threshold, thick fur, and agility. Even experienced hunters prefer not to mess with the badger. There are legends that the skin of this beast is even more durable than that of a boar. Why then do we hear so little about the rage of badgers? The fact is that they don't like unnecessary problems. The honey badger and wolverine walk around their possessions and constantly run into a fight. And the badger, on the contrary, likes a quiet life normally. He prefers berries, nuts, roots, vegetables, and if it hunts, it usually hunts insects, reptiles, and small little birds. The badger loves rodents especially, so he is treated well in culture because the badger destroys pests. By the way, he's not irritable, not particularly aggressive, and doesn't try to punch the bear as soon as he notices it. He's also got a really cute face, don't you agree? American badgers have long hair, which in combination with a low sitting body and short paws makes them look like kind of decorative dogs. European ones look especially cute due to the elongated muzzle with characteristic cute stripes. Therefore, it seems that in front of you is an ordinary quiet boy who hides from the threat and counts only on the protection of its native burrow. That's why it's such a surprise for this bear when it turns out that the badger is even more insane and berserk than his distant relatives. After all, if this guy is provoked, he will be offended and show that it is better not to run into modest people. Most predators avoid fights with an equal opponent for one simple reason. Good health is needed for hunting. 
If the wolf overcomes the enemy, but remains with a wounded paw, it will be much more difficult for him to catch up with the prey. This can end fatally. The badger doesn't care about this at all. He goes to the end, which simply terrifies his competitors. The badger can even attack a cougar if it tries to mess with him. But the cougar is an incredibly aggressive and cruel beast. But she retreats like a frightened little kitten when the badger threatens to gnaw the cat's tendons on its paws. With his elongated but very powerful jaws, he can do this. He attacks ten times the larger beast stubbornly and brutally over and over again. At the same time, the badger knows the pain points of the enemy and tries to hit each one. This fox thought that the badger was a helpless fatty, but realized too late that he had messed with the wrong one. The badger bites right at the base of the tail, in a very painful place. He shakes it from side to side, causing maximum damage. And thanks to the grip of powerful paws, the fox has no chance to get out until the badger lets him go. And the blows of the enemy, it seems, he simply ignores. And even if the predator retreats, the badger will chase him himself, so that the enemy will forever remember this lesson. And what unexpected victory of the victim over the predator struck you more than others? Let us know in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe.